The most distant object made by humans is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has achieved interstellar travel. Imagine sending a spacecraft into orbit 45 years ago and it still continues exploring areas far beyond its scheduled lifespan. These are the amazing facts about a brave NASA mission that is redefining space exploration. But there's something even more fascinating. The courageous spacecraft is not just millions of miles from where it started, it continues to send data back to Earth using technology older than cassette players. And that isn't all. The spacecraft, launched in 1977, recently made a discovery that has caused havoc in the scientific community and captivated the world's attention. What is this amazing discovery? What could the far reaches of space reveal? And what does it imply for us on Earth? There was a key moment in history when two of the most incredible missions ever launched heralded the modern era of space exploration. Thanks to the brilliant mind of NASA's Gary Flandro at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the probes were given a route that would take them past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. With nothing more than a pencil, engineering skills, and the simplest tools of the 20th century, Flandro discovered something astonishing. Late in the 1970s and early in the 1980s, the four gas giants would align in a unique cosmic arrangement a celestial necklace linking heaven and Earth. This alignment would allow spacecraft passing close to each planet to gain speed from its gravity, as though being pulled forward by an invisible rope. These gravitational assists made it possible to shorten the journey from Earth to Neptune from 30 years down to just 12. There was, however, a catch. This alignment occurred only once every 176 years. Faced with this rare chance, NASA seized the opportunity. Just 15 days apart, they launched two identical spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 in the summer of 1977 with the aim of taking full advantage of this planetary arrangement. Little did they know these two explorers would surpass every record in space exploration. More than 45 years after launch, Voyager 1 and Voyager to remain operational, sending back data daily from the outer reaches of our solar system. These probes are now the longest surviving spacecraft ever built, having traveled far beyond what was originally imagined, and to think their mission was only supposed to last for years. But these interstellar pioneers had plenty of surprises in store. At the start of their journey, they sent back incredible close-up images of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons, revealing worlds far more active and dynamic than expected. The discovery of volcanoes and ice fields forever changed our understanding of these distant corners of the solar system. Voyager 2, in particular, was the first spacecraft to approach Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, stunning scientists with its findings and territories that had never before been explored more than 14 billion kilometers from Earth. These Volkswagen Beetle-sized probes have defied every expectation and continue pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. Their journey began with a gravity-assisted maneuver around Venus a feat no spacecraft en route to Mercury had attempted before making them true pioneers. The journey to Jupiter alone took the spacecraft ten times farther than the distance from Earth to the Sun, yet it was only the beginning of their epic adventure. The distance Mercury is from Earth required them to enter the dangerous asteroid belt, a feat earlier dealt with by the Pioneer 10 and 11 probes. But the obstacles did not end there. The memory was only 69 kilobytes, a tiny fraction of what a modern smartphone holds. The onboard computers had to manage on their own intelligence throughout the intricate nature of this extraordinary journey. Instrumentally gathered data was stored on tape recorders aboard Voyager prior to transmission to Earth through a single-use transmitter that utilized 23 watts, roughly the same power as a household light bulb. The equipment on these probes included 12-foot diameter satellite dishes to facilitate communications. They applied radio waves traveling at the speed of light for sending and receiving messages. However, the growing distance from Earth advancing by three or four light seconds each day presented major challenges. 
One of those challenges, for example, was that signals from Voyager to took more than 18 hours to reach Earth. Increasing radio background noise from cell phones, televisions, and other sources made it increasingly difficult to pick up the faint signals from the spacecraft. Despite these difficulties, Voyager's investigations have defied expectations and continue to amaze astronomers with unexpected results from the void of interstellar space. Their travels have changed our perception of the cosmos and shifted our perspective on the unknown. Beyond the solar system lies the mysterious Oort Cloud, a vast congregation of cum-like objects held together by the gravity of the Sun and extending outward toward the nearest star. Although the Voyagers continue to move slowly toward that faraway realm, they officially entered interstellar space when they crossed the boundary known as the Heliopause. The separation between our solar system and the space between stars. This boundary was originally thought to be around 50 astronomical units, and as a result, it was decided to continue funding the mission even as the probes got closer to that milestone. Nevertheless, crossing this boundary did not immediately reveal a change in the environment, leaving scientists puzzled. The route into space between stars was anticipated to be accompanied by a sudden rise in high-energy cosmic rays, particles moving at almost the speed of light ejected by supernovae and other cosmic events. However, most of these high-energy rays are deflected by the shield of magnetic energy produced by the heliosphere, which protects our solar system from most external threats. The Voyager mission team also closely monitored any changes in the prevailing magnetic field as the spacecraft approached the interstellar medium, an environment composed of ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars. The magnetic field between galaxies was anticipated to have a different orientation compared to that of the heliosphere. The Voyager probes, however, did not identify any significant alterations in the magnetic field. On the 25th of August, 2012, Voyager 1 made its final crossing of the fascinating heliopause and transmitted evidence of the anticipated increase in plasma density, though without evidence that the magnetic field had changed. This was surprising since it had been expected that when transferring from a region dominated by the solar energy field to one influenced by stars, there would be a noticeable variation in the direction of the magnetic field. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. In the years following this milestone, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have continued to send back invaluable data even as their power sources slowly decline. Each spacecraft is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators or TGs which convert the heat from decaying plutonium-238 into electricity. Over time, the power output decreases, forcing mission engineers to make difficult decisions about which instruments to keep running and which to turn off. Despite these limitations, both probes remain operational. Voyager 1, currently more than 14 billion miles from Earth, is the most distant human-made object in existence. Voyager 2, following a slightly different trajectory, has also entered interstellar space and provides complementary data to its twin. What makes their journey even more remarkable is the longevity of the technology. Designed in the 1970s with computing power far less than a modern calculator, the spacecraft continued to function more than for decades later. Their resilience demonstrates both the ingenuity of their creators and the durability of their design. Beyond their scientific contributions, the Voyagers carry a message from humanity. Affixed to each spacecraft is the famous Golden Record, a phonograph record containing sounds, images, and messages that represent life and culture on Earth. Curated by a team led by Carl Sagan, this record includes greetings in 55 languages, music from across the world, and images portraying the diversity of life on our planet. The Golden Record serves as a time capsule and a symbolic gesture, should the spacecraft ever be found by another intelligent civilization. As the Voyagers drift farther into the cosmos, their signals grow weaker and eventually they will fall silent. 
Yet even after communication ceases, the probes will continue their silent journey among the stars, carrying with them humanity's first physical presence in interstellar space. In this way, they will outlive not only the mission's original goals, but also perhaps even the civilizations that launched them.